Hi guys. Charity shop gold or garbage. Chipping Sodbury today. Pick this little fella up. It's a bath time toy. What caught my eye was the amount of movement in it. And then I turned it over and realised it's a bit of a cheat anyway, because it has actually got a propeller on the back which I might mention is full of hair so we might have to take it apart to get it working. From the looks of it push the button and it probably runs for a limited time and then stops again. So I suppose the first thing would be to try a battery in there. So let's try this screwdriver. Head. It's another one of those Pangland screwdriver kits. Oh, that fits. So we need one AAA battery. So, one cheap Poundland battery. And no different. Nothing. It's pretty jammed in there, you know. Right, we're going to have to take it apart. Surprisingly enough. Uh, looks like you might be able to just take that back bit off. To untangle the hair. such luck. That does look like it should come off, but something's holding it in place. I don't think that's quite the right size bit. like this screwdriver quite as much as the other Poundland one, the metal one. I think I might go and get that. That one's a bit stiff anyway. Really need to be that long.
have a look see if there's a name on here. It's copyright sign Moose, M W O S E. Made in China. Well, I certainly didn't skimp on the length of their screws. So, we have got three different size screws. At least it comes apart. So, head, tail, this is what I wanted to get to. All that hair. Yeah, I'll get a knife to trim that in a minute. So, where's the electric motor? In the middle of all that somewhere. And it's using a worm drive on the shaft to turn these geared cams that obviously make the legs flap around. Oh, I see. Oh, the motor is right. You probably can't even see it. The motor's right down in there, and the pinion gear there turns. Oh, hang on. Can we even see that? I'll probably have to take it apart so we can see it clearly. But the motor's right at the bottom. There's pinion, small pinion gear, turns that gear there, and then that gear turns that gear, which is the one that the propeller is on, which also turns those worm gears which then turns these geared, or these gears here that have got cams on them to make the swimming motion. And get a knife to cut that hair off. Turn that manually, you should be able to see these move in the slots to give them the motion. motion there because I'm doing it so slowly it doesn't really look like it's moving I expect if I take it apart, 
I have to be very careful to get the gears back in the right sequence, otherwise it won't do the proper motion. Let's try it with a battery in it again, now that I've given it a bit of a turn. nothing happening. I did have a similar design toy or the similar timer thing on it. I just ended up having to bypass it and put a switch on it. Switch it on and off. Trying to look see if there's any marks on there to tell us how it aligns. It's certainly a hole in each of those cams, wheels, gears. Okay. There goes nothing, we'll take it apart. Before I lift that off. Okay, I've looked at it. see but I'm laying them on the table so I know where they came from. But how do we know how they align? Just look and see if there's any time when all those holes align. Well, it's not helping anything, but that hole is there. That hole isn't directly opposite, or is it? Quite directly opposite each other. Do they just lift off? Oh no, they don't just lift off. That means with a bit of luck uh, we won't lose them. But I can't see a convenient way of identifying when they're all in the right position. Positive side, I've not seen any broken wires.
on the negative side and nothing's happening. <laughs> All right, well, undo the next step. Right, okay, so that's just the push buttons. And it's like there must be something in that motor, a bit of circuitry in there to give it the timing. Okay. Let's have a look at the motor. Another different screw. all together there. It's all going to go horribly wrong in a minute. At the moment we haven't separated the gears and there's we haven't lost the sequence, the position. I think I'm just about to because it looks like that motor assembly comes all the way down there it's not going to just pop out that off there this is where we're going to lose yeah this is where they're going to turn and get out the sequence into place so they're not easy to move and this fella I don't think it's going to come apart
these molten bits of plastic just so we can free up the wires so I can get enough to work on to get that motor apart motor yeah. I mean that look that looks a bit brown in there as if there's some corrosion in there Ooh. Oh, got a bit of movement there. I know what's going to happen. The wire is going to come off the end of the motor in a minute. bits of plastic and with cutting these bits of plastic this is a good chance we'll cut the bits of wire I can't keep trying to do this in front of the camera. Well, I keep moving out of the way anyway, don't I? I need to... well, that one's come off all right. didn't suddenly clear things but we should have a bit more space to work now so what I would say we've got there is a little bit of circuitry 
on the end of the motor to give it a timing delay. Can we get the gear off there? Yes. Come on, all the way off. whatever you do. Right, that's our motor. We keep saying it's got timer on it. I don't know that it has, but that's what I would expect. it just moved when the button was pressed. I'm not seeing any... I thought there'd be a little circuit board on the end there. not seeing that at all. I'm just seeing a very sad looking little motor. That was glue. Nothing there. Cool. I don't know what it is. It's rock hard. I thought maybe it was glued in place. Very rough in there. I should think that's the brushes that are corroded inside. I can feel it grinding as I'm turning it. It's all a bit disappointing. Well, it does look like that one's dead. I don't think I got any motors like that at the moment. I've got quite a few small motors, but I don't think I've got a direct replacement. I'll go and have a look in my bits and pieces. Well, I think we're out of luck here. All the motors I can find are either, that one's the right length, but the shaft is too long and it's also thinner diameter than that one. This one 
is the right diameter, but it's too long. So I would have to actually order one specifically that length, that diameter, and that length of shaft on it if I want to replace this. So I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest. So it looks like this was a one-way disassembly. What a shame. It would have been nice if it worked. I might be able to rig something up just so we can see the action. I don't know if I can... No, I don't know. Don't know. I could just pull the propeller off and attach a drill to the end there and turn it. I don't know. I think that's probably as far as we're going to go for now. Which is a shame. Alright, not sure if we'll be able to see this working. I've got this little motor that originally came out of a toothbrush, I think. I put the gear on it. So if I hold it in position, I think my fingers will be in the way, but I'll hold it in position there so it drives that gear and then at least we'll see the motion. Just a bit of a shame we couldn't get it working with the right size motor inside the assembly. Yeah, I don't know if I'll actually bother trying to fix that. It would be nice to fix it. I'll have a look online to see if I can actually spot one of those motors at a reasonable price. I mean, they're not expensive. You can usually get a pack of four of them for a few pounds. So, we'll see. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.